us are in music school. Some of us, uh, Jeff and I, are in performing arts technology, uh, which is music and technology, you know, synths and DAWs, digital audio workstations, and all that good jazz. But that's not what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about this open source music group that we like to call the Bada Boba Boss. And what I, mean, what I mean by open source is we have this band camp, this website, where anyone can post, anyone can upload their music. Um, we're at actually 50 albums right now between our little community. And it's been about two years. So that's, that's something. Uh, hopefully, if you guys are down for it, we're going to jam today. We're going to record it, and y'all can be the 50 first. But up, 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 buzz album. Um, that'd be pretty cool. Um, so, I'm just going to do a little bit of context uh, so you know what I'm talking about and you know why we're going to do this jam thing. And then we're just going to go right into the workshop. Um, so, the Butter Bubba Buzz addresses a problem that we all face in music school. And in that music school, there's kind of this conservatory culture where Chops or virtuosity is emphasized, playing things right is emphasized, and when you create like a good way to play something like that in that conservatory culture, you also create you create uh, self judgment and you create like people who don't fit into those boxes. So if you aren't good enough, if you don't play your instrument well enough, you don't play how like the old like dead white dude from like long before you like intended you to play it. You're not good. Um, and then outside of that context is like the music industry in general. It's uh, and the music industry's idea of like, commodification that your product, that your you know creativity has to be something to be sold, and that forces you to look at you know what other people want versus what you like truly love to make, and it forces you to kind of rely on external validation to rely on other people. For, you know, your worth, your value. And so we see these kind of boxes that are you're put in through the music industry and through our conservatory culture as oppressive. Um, and we call that outcome orientation or kind of being more involved to an unhealthy degree, to a toxic degree, involved in like the outcome in the product rather than the process, rather than, you know, making something. Um, and that diminishes like any free expression that you have because you're looking for all that sort of outreach. Um, and then our solution is something we call radical process orientation, where you delve into the process entirely, you forget about the outcome, you forget about whether, oh, are people going to like this? Oh, am I playing my instrument well enough? You just delve into, you know, strumming your guitar or playing the drums or whatever you want to do. It doesn't even have to be music, but you delve into that and you don't even think about it. What other people are thinking, or any of those boxes that you can put in. And so that lets, goes, lets go of, or helps you let go of, you know, those standards. It helps you let go of, like, the judgment that you can have on yourself uh, when you listen to those, those external validating factors. Um, and so, that's what we're going to do today, is we're going to just take away all that comparison, and we're just going to create. Um, and like I said before, um, like, the bada bada buzz, the band camp or the website, anyone can post it. And that's decentralized musical film. That's you don't have to meet those standards, fit into those boxes, to be able to have your music heard, to be able to like publish your music. It should be free, it should be you should be able to have people hear your music like just because of your music. And so it started uh, with us just like writing songs, improvising, whatever, not thinking about the outcome, just kind of jamming. And we came up with this original process where uh, we would have, we would write basic chord structures, like a little pop tune. But instead of trying to get those parts to be individually perfect, we would uh, record each part, we would record drums, and then we would record bass afterward and not listen to the drums while recording. So it's just like free, you can't even like hear like the, the song. You're just kind of jamming in, in the space. And when you add all those instruments up and you listen to like the, the product that kind of just inadvertently comes out of that, it sounds like disjointed, it sounds weird, and it sounds, I don't know, like this abstract kind of thought. Um, 
But that kind of forces you to look at just like the rhythms that are there in front of you, like how things kind of like randomly overlap with each other. Um, and I don't know, it was kind of fun, it was novel, and we enjoyed it. So this is kind of what it sounds like. This is our first album, Happiness in the Satchel. Yeah. <laughs> Check it out. Bagel, you're my enemy. You're my friend. I will love you only for pretend. Okay, that's enough. Of that. <laughs> that was yours truly on the vocals. I think that was Jeff. Guitar. And then Michael Wilson doing something. He was on that. The first, but uh. Um, and then a year later, we uh, kind of tried to get more intentionally artsy with it, I guess. And same process though, we couldn't hear each other's instruments while we were recording. And it's not. <laughs> What's called pop culture human centipede. Honestly, pass as like some actually like avant-garde music. Like that's kind of the happy happy accident that we like come up um, with that process. But I want to reiterate, or maybe even for the first time, say that this doesn't have to just be music. And uh, like that that random process, that like delving into process, can be video, can be physical art. And so we discovered that, and we made this atrocity. Underneath that mask is our very own Gibby Gibson, too. Okay, I didn't want my love to go in. Like, yeah, we sing Silent Night over and over, right? Is that what happens? There's something there. Um, but with the video, we took like an iPhone recording or whatever, put it in the VHS tape and like made it all grainy and weird. And then we like used this analog video switcher uh, to just like switch randomly between like different tapes. Like that. Yeah, and if you press both buttons like on two different takes, it just like, glitches and it's like. So in addition to the website, we also have uh, a YouTube channel. Where we like have made like I don't even know how many videos. Like we're over 100 right now, and it's been like a year because um, we're just like you know we're in the process. We're just down to create. Um, so for the workshop, we're gonna do that same thing. We're gonna delve in to process. We're gonna delve into the moment of just like making music to make music, not even thinking about oh am I playing this guitar right? Oh am I doing this right? Am I good enough? No. We're just gonna make the music like just to do it. In that moment, no good or bad, no nothing, we're just going to create. Um, yeah. Cool. So, does anyone want to play an instrument? Does anyone want to, oh wait, first, no, 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 I want to do the meditation. <coughs> Let me get some Okay, one of our idols is Pauline Oliveros. And she has these things called sonic meditations. And it's where you meditate sonically. And what we're going to do, if you got two hands, we're going to ask you to clap. Right where you are, you don't have to get in this circle. We're just going to ask you to clap. And the goal here 
is you're going to clap with pulse for just a, a rhythm. So like something like that. So pick a rhythm, any rhythm, any pulse. Not yet. <laughs> Give me a second. Um, and we want you to kind of only focus on your own, your own pulse, your own rhythm. Ignore anyone else's rhythm. Just think about your own clapping. And if you hear yourself like syncing up with someone else's clapping, that's a no-no. Change your rhythm. Change it up. Yeah, make it independent and continue to like bring your attention back to your own clapping. Are you guys ready? All right. guys. Yeah. Crazy. I wish we were recording. Anyway, so now we're going to do that but with musical instruments. Does anyone know how to play an instrument at all? All right, we're not going to use you guys. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, so, uh, no, that's, that's awesome. That doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, how do we get people up here? What do we want to do? Like, so we have 13 chairs. We have a glockenspiel. Two, four toms, a snare of sleigh bells, a bass guitar, a keys, ukulele, another guitar thing, and what was the synth? Um, we're going to do this multiple times, so if you don't participate the first time, that's whatever. But like, one, two, three, go, pick an instrument. How about that? Get up here. No, you can destroy them too. That's, that's extended technique. We're not going to start until there's 13 people. Uh, you absolutely do. Oh, yeah, no. I'm not saying don't play. Okay, yeah, so I guess I'll explain that part too. We're going to give y'all each a coin. Okay, let's give them a second. Let's let them fill in. I am so excited. We got one more, one more singer, and one more ukulele. Come on, everybody and anybody. Yeah, thank you. What's that? I thought I will be rigid, like those oppressing conservatory boxes. Oh my god, I'm so close. Okay. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Because we're we have our own little plan for this. Awesome, awesome. Okay. So if I could get Susan. Um, yeah. Two more people? Wait, who else? Oh, he yeah, is snare. You gotta come play this. No, if, if you don't want to sing that to it's snare, there's no reason. Awesome, thank you so much. Thank you guys. Um, okay, do they all have coins? Yeah. Everyone has a coin? Cool. So, I guess. 
going to have you tinker around for a little bit more. And each side of that coin represents a musical idea. It can be you strumming like once, and then the other musical idea could be what's playing from something. It can be whatever. So we want you to kind of mess around, come up with two musical things. They don't have to be musical, they just have to be things with your instrument. Um, and then, before we actually start, we're going to have you flip that point, and that's going to determine which one you're going to play for this one. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? So, I'll let you guys mess around. Uh, come up with two ideas. If you forget them by the time we play, that's fine, it doesn't matter. Um, so, yeah. Two minutes, whatever, just, just mess around. Oh, yeah, that sounds good. Guys, that was so beautiful. Um, now that you've, you know, kind of dipped your toes in, what we're gonna do is we have a bunch of, uh, what is it, wind up toys. Gibby over there has got wind up toys. And this is gonna determine when and how loud you play. Notice that we got four, four little quadrants here. Um, so Gibby's just gonna put a, uh, a wind up toy down, and if, if that, comes near you, you're gonna you're gonna play. And if it's in your quadrant, you can like play a little bit. You know what I mean? Why did you play loud? Yeah, yeah. Once the closer it gets, no, not right now. I'll say go. Um, <laughs> there are other. Um, yeah, just a lot. Yeah, they are exactly. That's so true. Suggestions. So you know they're gonna kind of. Gibby's gonna put a lot down, but just kind of look look where the the, the roll up toys or whatever are. And let that determine what you play. So if it's in this quadrant, you got bass guitar. If it's in this quadrant, you got a little bit of all that, and so on. I mean, you can sit where you want. Yeah, you can do whatever. Um, and is that the context or something? That's it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If this toy stops in your quadrant, you got like two stop toys here. No, stop. We're going to have you stop. Um, so only if they're gone and they're you're gone. Also, this is just like an example of the way to do it. True, yeah. This is Yeah, exactly. Like this is not how you make free music, this is not how you like free yourself, but this is one way to like break the ice with that and like let yourself not care about how you sound, just play. So Yeah, oh yes. Flip that coin. I feel like the coin is not necessary at this point, but we're going to do it. Flip that coin, whether it's heads or tails, is going to determine which musical idea. I know you remember your musical ideas. Which idea that is. Um, yeah, you can check bubbles. Okay, you see, you, you, have, you have your coins? Great. All right. Um, get, once Gibby lays down a toy, keep your eyes peeled for that toy, whether it's in your quadrant or not. Are right, you ready? Yep. Yeah, is that all right? We'll we'll credit you on it. Now stop your gun.
So, yeah, y'all got way too good at your instruments. Would you want to switch? Do you want to switch some instruments to get new people in here or something? Uh, yeah, we're going to skip the coins now. <laughs> That's why it's a workshop. Um, do y'all mind if our, there are photos taken of y'all for our favorite? Is that okay? Give up on the, the roll up twins because the carpet is not their best friend. Um, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna we're gonna be the roll up twins. We're gonna just jump around between quadrants, and that's gonna determine when y'all play. And I guess I'm gonna ask you guys to whatever you play, kind of loop it. So if you have like a musical idea, try your best to just do it over and over while someone is in the quadrant. Um, so, uh, we're gonna try this again. Take two. I'll let y'all jump over. Sorry. Yeah. Are we? Are we going? Is this it? Is this the beginning? Is this band in my quadrant? Is he starting it off? Is it me and this this instrument? I don't understand. I don't know how it works. <laughs> Oh, man, in a sweater. It's just that I don't understand this film. It's my own 
at a conference. I'm speaking 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 at a conference. Conduct this? Does anyone want to hop around in the old quadrants? Yeah, we uh, let's say four, so we can get maximal quadrants. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to impose my will. I want it to be all you guys. Are you gonna move around in the quadrants? Amazing. We got three, four. We got four quadrant hoppers. We're good to go. All right, all right. Yeah, how about we add another dimension to it? The closer, wait, what about the more people? What, so if there are, so the more people in your quadrant, the, the louder you play, the more you're jamming. So if you got all four people in your quadrant, you better be the star of the show. If they are in your quadrant, don't play. So, you have a scale from... I mean, obviously, these are suggestions. Yeah. No hard, no hard and fast rules. So, uh, what if we start... Yeah, no, let's just start. All right.
You can find what you just did on the Buddha ba ba buzz at bandcamp.com. It's like McDonald's. Oh yeah, we should figure that out. We'll we'll try to shoot it out to you and credit all y'all. Thank you. Yeah, thank you guys. Thanks so much.